His access is totally isoelectric for right. the T waves and the... There's an electronic chain sweeping medicine, and it's called the iPad. Technology Review visited Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston, where Henry Feldman is a practicing physician as well as the chief architect of the hospital information systems. When I read about the iPad, there was just no question. And a bunch of us were there, you know, in line, first morning it was released, grabbed our iPads and drove straight to work. Beth Israel had a big advantage when it came to using tablets because the hospital had already put all its patient records online. Now several hundred Beth Israel doctors use iPads or other tablets to access test results and patient records. Now, it's not the app for everyone, but for what I do as a hospitalist, it is absolutely critical. So I spend all of my time on a hospital ward, in hospital patient rooms. I don't see outpatients. I don't work in a clinic. I don't work in a place where I have a desk when I'm in the hospital. I work, you know, anywhere I am. And so to have a device that I could bring anywhere I was, including to the patient's bedside, and have access to every single thing I needed um, was huge. According to industry figures, about 30% of doctors already use a tablet computer of some kind. Manufacturers have even begun redesigning those hospital white coats to hold them. One thing the iPad isn't doing is getting rid of paper records. These binders still hold the official records for all patients. It turns out what the iPad is killing is other hospital computers, such as these wall monitors, or the dreaded cow, or computer on wheels. It weighs about 60 pounds, and the battery life is only a couple of hours. By comparison, a tablet is light enough to carry on rounds and can even be disinfected. Well, sort of. Dr. Feldman invited Technology Review on hospital rounds with a group of fourth-year medical students to see how the iPad was affecting patient care. Dr. Feldman clearly had an advantage over his students. Their printouts were already a few minutes old, and only Dr. Feldman had the latest test results. So this is actually interesting, right? So his crit is normally in the 40s, right. mid 40s. Here. So what happened here? But the big hope is that the iPad could transform the interaction with a patient, letting the doctor and patients like this man review information and make decisions together. You probably felt yes. heat, right? So what that does is it turns your blood white. Now the revolution is really into looking at quality. Not only are we doing the right thing, but are we doing it in the right way? And what devices like this let us do is bring quality tools to the bedside. The other thing is we used to wing it a lot of the time. Well, the patient looks like, no. Now, now the information's right there. I'm, I'm not going to guess what his lab result is or his pathology study or whatever. It's right here. Of course, while gadgets have a place in medicine, they can also get in the way. So now it's time to put down the technology and just take a little bit of time to explain and to be a doctor. Am I sitting forward just one little yeah. bit there? Nice deep breath with your mouth open.